It has been fast and furious all day at the West Virginia Capitol. Lawmakers are holding a rare Saturday meeting at this year's legislative session comes to a close. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. Despite a snowfall of eight inches across the capital city, state lawmakers were able to make it into the capital for the final day of the 60-day legislative session. The biggest bill to pass was a $4.65 billion state budget. West Virginia now has a $1 billion surplus. With uh, the surpluses that we uh, have been able to uh, generate, we're trying to address some of those uh, needs that, uh, frankly, have been deferred for years. And that includes giving every state trooper a $10,000 pay raise. But Democrats worry that other priorities, especially substance abuse and education, are not getting enough attention. I don't know how people work at home, but if I have a surplus, I pay off my debt. We have $196 million debt with the teacher's retirement system. Still others say not enough was done to help the 7,000 foster children in West Virginia, and a proposed 15% pay raise for child protective services workers was not guaranteed through legislation. A lot of the most important provisions from that bill have been removed, so we'll see how it winds up, uh, but that should be, I mean, after passing a budget, taking care of this foster kid crisis should be our top priority. Many agree this year's biggest achievements were several bills aimed at spurring economic development, including bringing new core steel and 1,000 new jobs to Mason County. We've passed several pieces of legislation to help bring uh, help our economy, bring more business into the state. So yes, I hope it's a start. Also heading to the governor's desk, a bill to put video cameras in all special needs classrooms after cases of criminal abuse were documented. The bill to give every state employee an average 5% pay raise will be going through, but the governor's proposal to give all of those workers an additional 2.5% bonus, well, that is not going to happen. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Now, Governor Jim Justice can extend the legislative session by three days, but unless he does that, the legislative session must end right at midnight. And three of the most controversial bills remain in limbo tonight. House Bill 4004 would eliminate abortion rights after 15 weeks of pregnancy. Senate Bill 498 would restrict teaching of race-related issues in public schools. And Senate Bill 2 would greatly reduce unemployment benefits from 26 to 14 weeks. And again, all of these must be voted yes or no by midnight.